Live from the KHOU 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. And now, here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining us on Great Day Houston. Now, ever since there have been human beings, the question has remained, is there life after death, and what's on the other side? The ancient Egyptians would bury loved ones with clothes and food just in case they needed them in the afterlife. It's also the topic of so many Hollywood scripts. Ironically, the movie What Dreams May Come, starring Robin Williams, dealt with suicide and the afterlife. I still exist. I still exist. What is Annie's dead? She killed herself. I'm her soulmate. I can find her. As we know, Williams committed suicide on Monday. All of us eventually will go, but where we go is still a mystery. Or is it? Our first guest believes there is life on the other side and communicates with those who have passed over. He's here today to help some audience members reconnect and hopefully heal from the loss of a loved one. Please welcome the author of Never Letting Go, Mark Anthony, also known as the Psychic Lawyer. Good morning. Thank you, Dara. All right, I want to talk about um, the suicide of Robin Williams yeah. and what you're seeing out there online with people's comments is all kinds of things. Certainly people who have great compassion, you know, empathy and sympathy, yes. but you also have people saying that um, that's a sin in itself to commit suicide and where does your soul go after then? There's no one size fits all mm -hmm. with suicide. And part of being a Christian or just a person of faith is not to sit in judgment and right. cast the first stone. What Robin Williams' very tragic ending shows all of us is that depression is a real disease. It plagues people. Suicide, my best friend committed suicide. And oddly enough, he looked just like Robin Williams. When we were in Japan together, people kept coming up and asking for his autograph. And I go, this is kind of weird. He goes, they think I'm Robin Williams. Williams. And, and it was very, it was, it was really funny. But um, we're all the children of God. And how many people here are parents? A lot of people, right, in the audience? Could you ever condemn one of your children to an eternity of horror and suffering no matter what he or she did? I mean, there may be times we, want, we feel like we might, <laughs> but, but certainly your love supersedes any of that. Yeah. God I just got to think, if somebody is in that much pain. And God's the most loving parent of all. God would never condemn anyone to an eternity of suffering, particularly, I mean, Robin Williams was a genius. This is a very, very intelligent man. You know, but when you're in that pit of depression, you are in a state where you feel that you're in a living hell from which there is no escape. Yeah. Fame and, and fortune doesn't do it. Fame and fortune, it no longer does it. Um, a beautiful wife, loving children, that doesn't do it. Um, Academy Awards, uh, none of that does it. And the feeling is that you're in an inescapable reality, which is so horrifying and so tormenting that the only escape is to cease your consciousness. And that is from what psychologists and from my own study, that's why people commit suicide. And so we cannot sit in judgment of Robin Williams right, right. Or, or anyone, or else, anyone yes. who, who, who takes that drastic step. And it is painful. Suicide is an insidious problem. It affects all of us. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to back up a little bit and talk about you in terms of being a psychic. You grew up in a psychic family, so yes. it wasn't strange to you necessarily. No. but. How did you kind of merge, especially as a kid, uh, merge that with other kids? Or did you just think that all other kids were having the same, same thing? Like, hey, I've got extra friends too. Or, you know, like, well, they who kept came me. to see you last night, Bobby? Right? Well, well, they used to burn me with cigarettes and lock me in a closet. Yeah, no, 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 not no. at all, not at all. My, my childhood was great. And both of my parents had uh, psychic and mediumistic ability. So around age four, I started seeing my friends and they were okay with that, but they told me don't talk about it outside of the house because people won't understand. And when I started school around age five, I saw that. So we kept it and, and also realized that not everybody's mom was like my mom. Yeah. You know, mom saw spirits and she could predict future events. And you know, my parents, 
were, were just middle America. They, they did not do this professionally. They did not, you know, mom discussed it openly. And a lot of people thought we were weird. We were the weird family, but the cool family. So yeah, it was kind yeah, of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So your parents didn't do it professionally. You didn't start out doing it professionally. No. You became a lawyer. Yes. And you found a way to kind of bridge that gap, which, by the way, I know you all are like, let's get to the readings. We'll get to those in a minute. But yeah, <laughs> but you found a way to kind of bridge both of those things together. Uh, I did, because both being an attorney and a psychic medium revolves upon evidence. As a lawyer, I have to have evidence to prove my case in court, to substantiate my position. As a medium, what I do is spirits will validate who they are through many ways, and they're going to project pieces of evidence. It could be visual images. I may feel how the person died. I may get shared memories between the client and that person. I mean, there's a whole plethora of, of images, sensations, sounds, words that I may get to validate that it's them. Okay. Uh, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to have you explain how that works, and uh, you'll talk to the folks in our audience, which I see about 60 people here. You probably see about a million. Uh, <laughs> but, but before we go to break, today on Facebook, we want to know, have you ever had an encounter, a vision, or dream that you feel came from the other side? You feel like there's just no other way to explain it. Log on and share your thoughts, and we'll share some of them at the end of the show. We'll be right back.